Hello, I'm Boneblox, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use unions. But before anything, you might be asking, what are unions? Well, to answer that, firstly I have to tell you that Rebels uses CSG, which stands for Constructive Solid Geometry, which used to be called Computational Binary Solid Geometry. Yeah, I can definitely see why they changed the name, but it does give us an insight as to what CSG does. So, essentially what union events are, are booleans, which in binary is a 1 or a 0. If you look at where my mouse is, this is where you can find union events. So firstly, we just want to create a part. And just for a little information, you can open the add instance screen by pressing alt plus i and typing in a part. Essentially, what unions does is, if you have multiple parts like this, you can sort of merge them together. You can unionize them in a sense where they'll become one part. So let's do this here and press union. And you can see it is connected as one part. And if you go to view and explorer, you can see it is one part. If we undo, it becomes its normal thing. And in the view tab, we have wireframe view, which allows you to see the topology of the model. And the unions, they've come a long way from what they used to be. They used to be really poor in terms of performance, but they've gotten a lot better now. Let's move on to our next union event. This one's called intersection, and I can imagine you know what this one stands for. But if you bring this through here, and then you select these, you press intersection, it will only keep the inner part of the union. Here's possibly a better demonstration. Here we have an X, and here you can see it has a very clear intersection mid part. Now let's select both of these lines, and now we can intersect, and you can see we are left with the middle part. Intersecting makes it so that the only part that's a touching of ones that are left. Now let's move on to a third option, which is negation, which used to be called difference because it allowed for you to cut things out. And this is where the Boolean terminology comes in because it's either it is or it isn't. And let me show you what I mean by this. Here we have a very basic wall. We have a door and we have a window. Now if we press negate, these paths become red and transparent. And we press the main body and union and it cuts them out. Just to clarify, you have two tool parts and one body. This is an example. You can have as many tool parts as you want and as many body parts as you want. And this concludes the negation part of this video. And using the exact same example, I can show you the last part, separate. Essentially, pressing this returns it to its natural state, with all the parts being present. We can do this as many times as we want and as, as complex as we want. Let me show you an example. Here we're just duplicating as many times as we want, union the whole thing, and we'll even cut some parts out. And we'll just duplicate this all and we can union the entire thing. We select it all and separate, and it all goes back to the normal. Everything is back to how it was before. And there are some really cool things you can actually do with this. Let's see how all this blocks, but you want to turn into 20 stud tall pillars. So what you would normally do is you would select one of them and drag it all the way up. You'll go over here, you can click another one, drag it all the way up, do it again. And you don't want to do all of that. So what you can do is you can select it all, then you can select it all again, <laughs> then you can union it. And what that does is it makes it all one part. And you can drag it all the way up. And before you do anything, we click off because it's given bad advice. Just wait. Now you size it up, you can separate it and they're all back to normal parts. This is great for saving time. And I know there are plugins on the toolbox that allow you to do this and resize multiple parts at once. But this is based on Studio. You don't need to install anything different. For this next part, I understand that the setting has changed a little. We're in a gray box for some reason. I just want to show another feature. So say we have another part that happens to be a different color. We can go to negate it on this part here. So we go here, there, negate it, and we can union. And you can see the face that cut off is now the color of a negated part. It does not change the material of the part, however, even if it is a negated part. And you might be wondering, how do I change this part back? Because if we click this and we press the part, it does not change the whole color. So you have to go to view and properties. And down here, we can press use part color, which allows us to change the color of all of it. With that, we have concluded our entire union video, so you've learned everything from unions, intersections, negations, and separations, and you've learned some tips and tricks. And with that, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you share with someone who wants to learn more about unions. Consider watching one of my other tutorial videos.